Hello YouTubers, uh, thank you for dropping by on my video. Um, this video is a little review about a software called Java Robot. I'm going to open it up now. I know there's a lot of videos on YouTube about it, but honestly they all suck. I made this one for my fellow computer technicians. Uh, when I first got into the computer technician scene, um, it was pretty crucial for me to find software that can help me at my everyday job to get work done more efficiently. Uh, so I just opened it up. This is an ad. Exit out of that BS. Um, so here, here it is, Java Robot. Um, if you're not familiar with this program at all, what it does is it detects what software, um, I mean not what software, what drivers your computer has installed and if they are updated or not. If they're not updated, it will find the newest drivers and install them for you. Um, the second thing it does is it detects what hardware you have in your computer that does not have the drivers installed and it will access its online database and download those drivers directly to your computer. Um, this software probably wouldn't be of too much use to like a basic everyday home user um, unless your computer has a lot of uh, Java related issues. Um, this program however would benefit many uh, computer techs. Um, I remember at my old job I used to work as a computer technician people would bring in their computers um, sometimes they would need to have uh, uh, windows reinstalled on their computer and they wouldn't have the original disk with the drivers on it so um, I would have to go through all this tedious work you know go to Google type in da 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 drivers and find all these drivers manually well with Java Robot you no longer have to do that uh, you just run the program uh, put in your little license key and hit scan. Um, I'm going to do that right now actually on my gaming rig. Um, you can see my games right here. Future Soldier, Black Light, Ghost Recon. Pretty fun. I got Call of Duty in there too, but uh, they pretty they suck over the years. Uh, so right now it's searching my uh, hardware. A lot of this stuff is like real minor stuff. USB 1.1 device. Who uses that anymore? Um, but some of the stuff like right here, ATI HDMI audio, this is related to my um, my video card, uh, the HDMI sound. But I'm not really too worried about it. I don't play back movies or game on um, TVs as of yet. Uh, gigabyte Ethernet, that's another thing that's pretty common when working on people's uh, computers. The Ethernet, that's one of the first things you'll want to get done. Um, so yeah, all this right here, um, if you look at this little pie graph, it say up to date drivers is green. So I'm doing pretty good on my computer. Now the red is out of date drivers. Um, these, uh, they are listed right here, but it's nothing too, too major. Um, but if you're working on your client's computer, uh, you just click on get drivers get drivers all right it creates a little restore point so if something mess up you can just restore it back to uh, this point in computer time yay so it takes a while to do that all right so we're in uh, step three of three all right, here are all the devices here uh, that it has detected. Um, my Ethernet card, as we saw earlier. Um, a lot of um, Intel 5 Series chipset. That's pretty important. Um, it's weird that I don't have this installed. I came with a uh, CD. But it's my first time running it on this computer, so I'm really not surprised. Uh, generic monitor, who uses that? But um, when you want to download, you just uh, click the start, and as you'll see, it'll start downloading this Java for you. Of course, some Java's are larger than others, so it may take longer to download than uh, um, other Java's. Like this one right here is 0.63 kilobytes. That's 
should take a second, no, less than a second. Um, but that is about it. When it's finished downloading, you just click the install, and yeah, it opens up. It opened up on my secondary monitor. You can't really see it. I'm gonna slide it over. There we go. All right. So um, again, if you're a computer technician, you should know what to do with .inf files. Um, go to uh, Device Manager. Um, you can right click on the device, the um, generic PNP monitor on your device manager and um, set it to find this this file which you can drag to your desktop for the time being or extract it to whatever location you want. Um, aside from that, it's a very helpful um, piece of software and I recommend it to anyone especially if you're working on computers for a company or if you're working on computers as a hobby or for some side money so uh, this concludes my little review I hope you enjoy it I hope maybe you'll think about uh, probably picking this up uh, if you do there's a little link a little link, a little link down at the bottom uh, to help you guys so you won't have to uh, waste too much time so um, that'll be about it. You guys have a great day.